Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to walk through how to apply an e-visa to travel to Uzbekistan uh, step by step. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify neither I am an immigration consultant nor I am a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys, so let's proceed. So guys, more and more countries are nowadays migrating towards uh, electronic visas because they are very easy to apply and easy to travel. And in most of the cases, you don't even need to get your uh, passport stamped or any other process. So in front of you, I have opened the Uzbekistan e-visa site. You can always click on need to know to know about like some frequently uh, asked questions and others. But if the process is, you're going to click here. First thing is to select your citizenship, whichever it is. Okay, so for like uh, for Canadian citizens, it's not required because you can uh, stay up to 30 days. So I'll just check it, change it to you need to do as per your case. Document type entry, you can request single, double, multiple. I request single purpose of visit tourism. I select then I click on next arrival date. Let's say I select this departure date. This. And it is clearly written. Suppose uh, suppose time of stay, the period must not exceed 30 days between date of submission and completion of the valuable. OK, that's OK. Next. Now here you need to provide your information. Uh, if you have ever changed your surname. Uh, you need to provide that also like uh, if you select this surname changed. Yes, you need to provide previous surname similarly with the name also if not just be fine i'm just putting sample of course i won't be submitting it date of birth make sure you meet the format date of birth i'm just putting sample and i would highly request you that make sure it matches your passport so that you don't encounter any issue. Series and number just sample guys. Date of issue. Just sample guys. Permanent residence address. I'm just writing from sample, but you do it properly. Place of work and position. Phone number, mobile, and or landline. No place of residence is not Pakistan. If you have other citizenship, you will click on this and provide the information. If not, that's sufficient. Click on next. Now here. You need to upload your picture and also your passport. OK, they have given the specifications. OK, standards also are given here. Then it will go for next step activation and then finally payment. Of course, I'm not going to do that, but you got an idea how to do this. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.